All right, I changed the streaming settings real quick. So hopefully it works a bit better now. Nice wallpaper. Yeah, I made my wallpapers myself. Uh, I was running Minecraft with shaders and I took a lot of screenshots because it looked so nice. And then I, uh, I programmed the wallpaper to change based on the time of day. So in the morning, I have a nice morning Minecraft wallpaper. And then I've got a different one in the evening when it's uh, sun setting and then another one at night. So, uh, and I've got a different wallpaper on each monitor as well. So I've got a whole bunch of Minecraft wallpapers that I made myself now. You can't be here because of your driving lessons. Well, driving is very important, so that's, that's probably much more important than watching video games right now. Tell us about politics. Uh, I don't know, what, what do you want to know? Let's see, okay, 14 viewers. So it looks like people are finding the new stream, but uh, the my social media links, I think still point to the old one. So that's a shame, but uh, I'll, I'll have to delete that old one. Hold on, I'm gonna delete it real fast. because I, if all the links go to my old stream, then people will just watch that and it's already over. So if I delete the old one, people will realize it's deleted. They'll check my channel and hopefully find the new one. All right, it's gone. All right, let's get started. Uh, the game gets minimized every time I click on my other monitor, which is annoying, because I would like to be able to like, do other things while having the game open. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's start from the beginning. I should get political whenever I beat a level, huh? I don't think there's any political message you could get out of this game. It's just like generic horror movie setting, you know. You start on a farm and you kill scarecrows and demonic goats, so I, I don't know what message you're going to take home from that. If the stream still, like, freezes and doesn't run very well, then at this point I don't know what else I can do. So, I might have to just continue, even if it's not working very well. all of that ammo behind the car last time. Stop it. Oh. Whoa. Alright, I think I got everything there. Oh wait, what's in here? better than last time. Is YouTube the only place where I go live? Uh, yeah, it is right now. I mean, I, I could make a Twitch account, but... Well, I do have a Twitch account, it's just that I've never streamed there and I don't have any followers there. So, uh, I mean, I, I would have to, like, go around telling everyone that I've made an account there, otherwise no one would watch it. So maybe that's something I can do later. 
But uh, I, I do prefer YouTube a lot more because... Oh, I forgot to get the blue key. Oops. I prefer YouTube because it's much more permanent. I've got a little uh, red warning on my streaming software. Am I dropping something? Dropped frames. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm dropping frames apparently. Well, I, I, I don't know if those frame drops are bad or not. Okay, it's at 60 FPS, or it should be, so if I drop some frames, it should still be pretty smooth, right? Oh, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. What about multi-stream? Uh, I don't know what multi-stream is. I guess that just means streaming to two platforms at once. I think I can do that. Uh, I'm using OBS, so I, I think it has the option to do that. As long as, uh, as long as it doesn't require a faster internet connection, it should be fine. But I, I don't see why it would, because I'm assuming it just sends my video to some server somewhere and then it splits over there. Because if I, if I had to upload video to Twitch and YouTube separately at the same time, I don't know if my internet connection could handle that. Especially if I'm playing at uh, 60 FPS. But uh, anyway, and for anyone who missed my uh, stream last night, uh, a few weeks ago I got new internet and it's a lot faster and a lot more reliable now, so hopefully it means I can do much higher quality on my streams. So before when I would stream, whoa, when I would stream games like Age of Empires, uh, the stream quality wasn't really good enough because uh, Age of Empires has like really small units, so you need a really high quality stream to be able to see everything properly. So uh, maybe I'll stream that game again now that I can have better video quality. It dropped for two seconds, oh great. Oh well, that sucks. I guess I can never win, no matter what I do. Or maybe I just did the calculations wrong, and maybe my upload speed is just not fast enough all the time. Like, maybe my upload speed just slows down sometimes, and then it's not fast enough to do the video anymore. So, maybe I should just settle for a lower quality. I don't know. Oh boy. Alright, I got the hunting rifle. That's one of the best weapons for a map like this. OBS requires payment for a uh, multi-stream? Uh, I don't know. I can find it out. Hey, I can't get up here? That's lame. Alright, where am I going? Can't go in there. Where do I get a yellow key then? Side here. There we go. <laughs> All right. 
it's time to uh, time to get climbing. Climbing mechanics in this game. But luckily, they're not, there's not too many sections. Oh, come on, I fell. I ran out of time. Alright, let's try again. Alright, I guess I'm safe. I'm out of here. Oh no. key now. Ow. I should probably save the game every once in a while, just in case I die. Oh, Rania's here. Uh... No, I, I only posted the link to the stream on Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. So, if, if those are updated, that's, that's it. That's all good. Alright, here we go. We got the Riveter. So that's uh, more or less the best weapon in the game. pretty much the story of my life. I can never remember where any of the doors are. I just kind of run past everything. Was it earlier in the level? Maybe. for me. Alright, good. It's gone. Alright, there we go. That wasn't too hard. What happens when the morale is set to zero? I think uh, morale is just armor, so you just get a little bit of more uh, defense against damage. Bad 
sense of direction. Uh, I well, I, I remember more or less where the paths were. I just don't remember important stuff like doors. I really should. Especially sometimes there's like several doors of the same color. And uh, like usually the one the one of those doors just kind of takes you back to earlier parts of the level and then you kind of get confused when there's multiple ways to get to the same part. I don't know. That can be a bit misleading sometimes. Some levels are pretty straightforward, but others require a bit of backtracking and then I kind of forget where I was going. Anyway, that that level, that was uh that was the first level of chapter 2, so it was pretty action based, not very scary. I, I prefer the really scary atmospheric levels, so we're probably going to have more of those coming up soon. Alright, I'm going to take this gas can and I'm going to go blow up that wall that I saw earlier. Actually, I don't need the gas can because I have explosive weapons now, but anyway, here we go. Hey, it's not working. There we go. Oh, there's another cracked wall. Alright, let's get out our, uh, this. Alright, there we go. Hey, okay. Got that boulder out of the way. Alright, where is this gonna take me? Okay. Where am I? Oh, health. Nice. Okay, so I got some health. Okay, cool. I'll take it. So where was I going? I was trying to open this door. seeing a lot of action around here, getting a bit spooky. Alright, now I hear something weird. Okay, it's starting to look a bit evil. Just casually crawling into an air vent. What could go wrong? Alright, a teleporter. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get my guns ready. Oh, I'm back here. That's weird. Wait. Uh, okay, I have the yellow key now, so I guess I'm going this way. Sounds spooky, doesn't it? Oh, I remember where I am. Oh, here we go. Oh boy, it's this part. This is great. I think this is my favorite part of the whole game. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's get the hunting rifle ready says, don't trust your eyes. Here we go. It's an invisible enemy. There we go.
Once again, I cannot remember where the red door was. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. Okay. That's why you have to have your volume up loud in this game, so you can hear those enemies coming. You can hear their breathing from quite far away. Also, you can see their bloody uh, footprints if you're paying attention. Oh, okay, I better save the game here. Too well for me. Took a lot of damage. Oh, can't get in from there. Alright. Monster coming. Button. Let's see. I'm gonna save again. A little cowardly save. but I came pretty close. <gasps> oh, is that the end of the level? There we go. How long does it take to get new EBF5 mobile information? I'm not really working on the EBF5 mobile port right now. I'm taking a break. Um, I'm working on the EBF collection. I'll, I'll get back to the mobile port later, but uh, it's still gonna be a couple of months. Maybe more, who knows. I'm not really rushing at the moment. <laughs> you don't like how the enemy's dying sounds like pushing over an overweight person at McDonald's. Wow.
Yeah, getting uh, all kills, like killing every monster in the level, is usually fairly easy because uh, most of the monsters aren't really hiding that well. They're usually in places where you're just gonna bump into them by accident. Alright, we've got a new uh, enemy type here. The mechanical turret. So, uh, I need to be careful. Where is it? I heard it somewhere. Oh, there it is. Ah, there's another one. There we go. Oh, these guys are back. Oops. Almost blew myself up. Great. Need some more help. Oh boy. Kill him. My God. How am I supposed to do this with? Almost no health. There we go, I'm dead. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, let's try that again. Homing fireballs got me. All right, I need to uh, I need to hide behind cover for that.
That was stupid. I have no idea what hit me there. This is getting a bit annoying. I might have to just like save halfway through the fight. Oh, I didn't know this was here. Okay. A little bit of extra ammo, I guess. Secret. That's way off. Fireballs. No! That's so lame. Those fireballs can't go around sharp corners, so I somehow kind of just ran in such a way where the fireball could easily fall on me. Which is very unfortunate, because uh, I don't think it should have been able to get me.
back up there. Fireball coming. I'm gonna save the game here. I think that's enough progress. Whoa. Okay, good thing I saved. close. Oh no. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a very poor choice of weapon there. Oops.
There we go. Save here. Is it? Wait, is it? Oh, we're back here actually. Okay, blue door. I'm gonna save here. Oh my god, what is this? Alright, let's try that again. Some argument. Okay. Hmm. I've gotten myself into a tricky situation here. Alright. I know where the enemies are now. Great, great, he's here as well. I think uh, I've gotten myself in this situation by not picking off the enemies earlier. Let's go back here, okay. So from here I should be able to kill some of them. There we go, let's one turret out. See, this was my mistake. Oh. What? Where did he come from? Where the what? Are there enemies still alive up here? Oh, let's pick up some ammo. That guy is flying, okay. There's some health over there. Oh, maybe that was ammo actually. Alright. Try this again. Oh no. It's so hard to see through this. Okay, got him. Ah, 
What? How dare you? Oh my god. I don't remember this level being so hard. I'm just kind of rushing it too much, I guess. Jesus. Alright. Gonna go back and get that health and save again. some up here as well. See, that's what I get for not collecting everything. Where is he? There he- Ah, there's two! Lucky that I found this hiding spot. Okay. All hail the great thresher. Okay. But I think there's still one enemy alive somewhere. There we go. Oh. Ah. Okay. Okay. We're good. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Oh, there's some more animal here. level has given me way too much trouble. Why is it taking me back here? Was there a red door somewhere here? Oh, I need to open. No, this is the start of the level. So it's not here. Oh, exit. It's not the end of the level though. again. Confused then. Where where is the exit? Oh, here. Okay. Access opened. Alright, what does that mean? I just want to end this level already because I've suffered enough. Oh, this thing opened. Okay. Okay, okay, this, this looks easy. Uh, oh, okay. I need to turn it off first. There we go. That makes sense. I don't know what that did. Sacrifice. 
that gave me way too much trouble. Next level shouldn't be so bad, right? I just need to take it slow and collect all the ammo and stuff and uh, pick off the enemies one by one and everything should be okay. Well, this looks very safe. Oh, the fall broke my flashlight. Okay, yeah, that's, that's great, man. I feel very safe. Look at that. Oh, God. In the sewers of blood. Save us. Okay. I'll save you. Flashlight. Nice. Oh, oh wait, I, I remember this. something in the bathroom. That scientist. With a big needle. Alright. These guys do a lot of damage, but uh, they're very short range. Like, you have to really mess up to let one of these guys stab you. Probably save here since I I started off the level really well. Okay, got out of there in one piece. Oh, 
Okay, this way is new. Oh my god. All dead. Another uh, climbing section. game already. I did not know how, like how that went. Yeah, just, just kill me. I'm gonna start this bit again. Alright, so we gotta shoot the button. Okay, maybe not with that. Then we gotta climb up there without getting shot. Okay, better than last time. Too bad, all things considered. Is he coming? Is that big guy coming? There he is. Save here. What? Nah, this part's not scary. It's the parts in the dark tunnels that are scary that have lots of suspense. Okay, that was a bit unexpected. I'm gonna make sure I have the right weapons ready. So I can kill those wizards as fast as possible. stop when there's one enemy left. Totally unfair. He could have killed me easily. What did I just pick up? The blue key? Alright. Up. 
Oh wait, there's a secret up here. Where was it? There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna save here before I keep going. Why did it take me here? What's the point of this? I don't think I'm ready to go in there because the door's not open yet. a good time to save. Probably a good time to save. easier than the previous one. Hey guys, be like Matt. Don't use your three weapons designed for close range. Instead, use explosives at a closed hallway. Yeah, that's a great idea. I recommend it. The, the weapon switching is a little bit annoying because it works slightly differently than it does in the new Doom games. Uh... I think uh, 
yeah, they, they've reversed the mouse wheel so it switches weapons in the opposite direction. And also in Doom, it skips any weapons that don't have ammo, and here it doesn't. So I end up always accidentally switching to empty weapons in this game. Just because I'm used to playing Doom. Oh well. Search labs. Safe. Very safe. I'm gonna I'm gonna save here before taking that power up. Cause uh power ups usually mean uh monsters. Go on, take it. Taste the power. And then we oh, 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 oh. Okay, uh yeah. So what I was going to say is I never really figured out how this works. It kind of slows down time, but I think only when you're aiming. And if you start moving again, it speeds up time again. So I haven't really learned how to use it properly, but I'm going to have to try here. Yeah, I'm going to use the Mortar. Let's, let's, let's do it. Go on. Why was he in there? Here's a better idea. Go on, take it. There, no damage taken. Right. Really? Oh. 
Cool. Exactly right now. Alright, let's, let's pick this uh, thing up again. Alright. Where am I climbing? Probably up here. But there's. No, there's nothing here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is it in here? Got me. Cool. Oh, back here. But why? I have the yellow key card now. Cool. Save here, real quick. What? Is there a wizard over there? might be a good place to save before we find out what's in this teleporter. Alright, let's go. get out of here. I really love this part of the level. It's the kind of stuff that I, I wish I put more of into my games. 
just suddenly you're in hell. Like, uh, for no reason, you know, you, you just step through a door and you're in hell. No, I don't suspect it. Alright, so I got the red key in there. So, uh, I'm just gonna get back to the door. Wherever that is. for a boss. This is kind of creepy. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I love creepy stuff. As long as you have a gun, then it's all right. I'm not really a huge... Well, I have played some, but I, I generally prefer games where you can fight back against the monsters. Uh, I, I don't play too many horror games where you're completely defenseless. I think uh, the only one I actually... Well... I played Soma and uh, Outlast, and Outlast 2 as well. So I think those are the main horror games where you're defenseless. The rest I play are mostly first-person shooters where you are heavily armed. <laughs> when I went to hell, it sounds like when your teacher talks. Wow. All right, let's do this. That doesn't sound very good. I wonder what's in here. So, uh, the real thing to watch out here is, uh, not so much the boss, but falling off the map. That's uh that's gonna end badly. So I gotta gotta watch where I jump. <laughs> you wanna see me stream Slenderman while drunk? Uh I think I played that a long time ago, but I'm probably not gonna play it again. Let's do it. That wasn't so bad. It took me a few tries last time I played this, but uh, once you figure out the best way to do it, you know, it's not so bad. The key is to stay in the middle where you're not going to fall off as easily, because if you start jumping around, then you're in for a bad time. Have I played Cry of Fear? Uh, nope, never heard of it. I wonder if this button, which is connected to a broken void of checker floor, does anything. <laughs> yeah, good question. <laughs> I'm escaping to the only place that's not been corrupted by capitalism. Space. Oh, okay. That looks safe. Kill the boss, why is there more enemies? Wow, my guy is uh, he's really stuck in there, huh? Level 5. 
and I've been playing for one and a half hours almost. I finished the entire first chapter in that time, so this second one's taking a bit longer. But it, it is a lot harder than the first chapter. Also the levels seem a bit more kind of more mazy, more complicated. See, I've got 36 people watching. That's all right, considering this game has like nothing to do with what I normally stream. I uh, I might, well, I probably will stream the EBF collection when it's kind of ready to be shown off a bit more. There's still a few things I need to finish before then. Like uh, I'll probably stream an adventure story once all the new stuff is finished, which it almost is. I just need to fix a few things. But uh, besides that, most of the games in there haven't changed very much. Maybe I could stream Brawl Royale, but that would be a really short stream. It's a really short game. So uh, maybe I could do a few games in the same session. But anyway, let's get back to this. Okay, I need to remember this time. The red door is near the beginning. Alright. Oh, okay. This is gonna be interesting. again. Okay, let's uh, let's prepare better for that. Oh, no. No. How do I get out of here? There's lots of secrets down here, but I don't know how to climb my way out. Okay, okay, that was bad. Alright, no falling into the lava this time. me stream Final Fantasy 3. Uh, which one? The original NES Final Fantasy 3? Or one of the many remakes? Or Final Fantasy 6, which in the US was originally called Final Fantasy 3? I think. Yeah, yeah, that's right.
Oops. I know there's a way to climb out of that lava somewhere because there's power-ups and stuff for you to collect there, but I haven't found a way to climb out yet, so I don't know. Take it easy. Oh, oh, oh. Is this cheap? I don't know. Changing. I'm gonna save here. me immune to lava, but not forever. It runs out eventually. So it lets you jump into the lava and collect everything, but then I still don't know how to get out from there. You know, so I'm not going down. I think all the monsters are dead. shooting at me from somewhere. Where? 
Who is it? Oh, it's that turret. Okay. There we go. Door and I think it's another one of those crazy android ladies in here. And there she is. Ah, oh, she blew herself up. Haha. <laughs> nice. What I get for for having a laugh. No fun allowed. All right, there's gotta be another yellow door somewhere. It was so close. It was so close. I was trying to fire, but he beat me to it just barely. So you know what? I'm not going to open this door because I don't need to fight those guys. I don't think there's any point. I'm just going to go straight to the other door. shooting at me. This guy up here? Oh, he's not the only one. Oh, there's more! Jesus. The literally dodging bullets over here. What? What? Did that door open? Was there more enemies waiting for me inside there?
chasing me, isn't she? Oops. When it comes to the crazy android lady, you need to make sure you're never near any walls because the shots she fires explode. So, even if she misses, you know, you're still gonna get hit, probably. But as long as you keep that in mind, then she's not too hard. Power plans, huh? Cool. This looks safe. Nice. Big John. Is this supposed to be Arnie? Come on, kill me! Come on, kill me! Come here, kill me! Come on! Come here, kill me! Come on, kill me! Come on! Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Come on! Do it! Come on! Do it now! Come on! Come on! I'm here! Kill me! Who the dog? Come on! Kill me! Come on! No! 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 This looks like a source Come game on. trying to copy Doom. Yeah, I mean, it is basically inspired by Doom. All the controls and stuff are exactly the same. But, I mean, that's, that's not really a bad thing. I was looking for more games like Doom to play, and that's how I found this. What is he saying? Kill me? Yeah, I think so. So I just need to make sure that more of, more of my shots hit him before I run out of ammo. Because the, the Riveter does a lot of damage, but I've only got a few shots. 
Oh look, there's more stuff back here. Okay. I think I've picked up everything. If I hit him as soon as he's in here, I should be able to take a lot of life off of him. There you go. Half dead already. That was a bit cheap, wasn't it? Oh, really? I don't know why he killed me that much faster that time. Maybe I was too close to him and I can't like dodge properly if I'm standing too close. about to say at this range he can't aim at all but apparently he can okay when he sprays all those bullets like they don't fly straight at all so I just have to stand on the spot and I'm fine There we go. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think that was supposed to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. The funny thing about his name is, it means Arnold Black Black. I think my dad pointed that out. Alright, I think we're getting towards the end of this chapter. Doesn't sound good. Oh! Where the hell are we now? Oh, ouch. Gotta be careful. Gotta get my hunting rifle out for this. most of my health in one go. Oh, and someone's shooting at me from the other side as well. Oh, okay. She dies really fast if you just shoot her in the head. It would have known. Come on. There, you, there we go. Hmm, this looks like a door. Oh no, super wizards with the homing fireballs. I gotta take them out ASAP. Is he dead? No. Get away from me. I need to kill the wizard!
I don't have enough weapons. That works. Is everyone dead? No, they're not. Hold on. Oh. It's still shooting at me, eh? Those deers were the only scary things? Really? No, the invisible monsters are the scariest. Because you can hear them coming and you just they, they just surprise you even though you know they're coming. Because they're completely invisible until you shoot them. I feel when people call me the EBF guy. I, mean, I don't really expect anything else to be honest. Like that's that's probably the only reason people like are following this channel. I'm used to it though. Doesn't matter. Where is the blue door? Is there something back here? <laughs> Okay. Ah, I never figured out what these uh, these madness emeralds are. Crystal of madness. I have no idea what this is. I keep finding them throughout the game, but I don't know if they actually do anything. They're usually like quite well hidden, which is suspicious because, as far as I know, they don't do anything. Welcome to the Babel Skylab, building toward the future. Come on. I hate those things. I waste all my ammo trying to hit them. Beep boop. Jesus, that was ouch. Oh, she blew herself up again. Okay, and she killed the other guy as well. That's nice. Should have probably picked up the power up. Oh well. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There, grab, grab 
grab the power ups just to finish off that one guy. Is that everything that there was in here? I think so. Oh. A button. Alright, a door opens. Somewhere. Maybe on the other side, up here. Green crystals turn enemies against each other? Is that true? That's pretty cool if that's true. Maybe I should try doing that next time. You throw the crystal to a group of enemies. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll try that next time, yeah. Big amount of knockback. Okay, interesting. That's good to know, because, you know, they seem to be pretty well hidden in this game, but I never figured out what they do. Stop him. A smokestack opens. What's that, like a chimney? This door. Yeah, okay, that's the one. Time to get climbing. But where am I climbing to? I don't know. Uh, up the chimney? Can't get up. Can't get up to the top. Okay. Am I going to climb over there? That's a shame. I probably should have saved. There, I didn't. Ex I didn't expect to find him in there. Huh. 
Oh, I forgot to flick the switch. save this time. But I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to climb exactly. So I can't get up there. save after every fight. Uh, I don't think I would do it that often because I think it's a bit, a bit cheap. This is where I was actually supposed to go. The, the climbing part is probably just uh, an optional secret somewhere. Which I'm, I'm probably not gonna... Huh, okay, what was that? I'm probably not gonna look for that secret right now. If you wanna watch someone doing like a 100% playthrough and finding all the cool stuff, then that's, that's probably a different stream. Because I'm not going to find everything. Anyway, I've got the yellow key now, so I can go to the other building. I'm going to save... Wait, not right here. I'm about to fall off a cliff. Yep. That was stupid. Alright, let's, let's do that again. And this time, I'm gonna try not to walk off a cliff as soon as I step outside. Climb where the power up was. Uh, all right, okay, I'll, I'll try. Let's, I'll take a look. Yeah, because if you look up, there's, there's nothing there along the side of the chimney. And oh, and you can't get to the top of it, right? There's, there's like a, there's a lip at the top of the chimney, so I don't think you can get up there. And, uh, you can't get on the other building either, because it also has a lip around the top. So, th there's gotta be, like, a, a secret, like, door somewhere along one of these buildings that I'm not seeing. Oh well. before I go outside.
Yeah, they're shooting at each other. Nice. Oh, there's still more up there. Turrets. Okay, let's see. Team Fortress 2? Uh, nope, I've, I've never played it before. easily been killed immediately. The movements in this game are making you sick. Yeah, th that's fair. It's a very fast-paced game. A lot of people said the same thing about uh, the new Doom games as well, but they're just too fast. Ah! Ah! 
That was oh. very unlucky. He just managed to run r right past me and I didn't see him. And I was going all pretty well until then. I just oh, blew up. Is there any upcoming game that I'm hyped for? Uh, not really. I mean, I've still got tons of games to play. Like, there's never any shortage of games, you know? There's just so much stuff already out there. So cool. Darkness is spreading. Yeah, okay. Alright, blue door is here. I need to remember that. go down there in a second. Okay, let's go down.
That was close. I don't know how I managed to dodge that. themselves up. Oops. Oh wait, I'm back back here. But now I have the blue key. Oh, that was close. The fall broke my flashlights. That's great. See what this does. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is like, uh, this is the stuff that I play horror games for. This is fun. Flashlight works now, so that's good. Now I can find the door. Got a secret. Oh, okay. 
Fair enough. So, where do I go now that my flashlight is working? Probably back to where I came from, right? Okay. The ruins held knowledge. We sold our souls for it. Okay. Altars built of concrete. Fed with blood and bone. Okay. feels like cheating to save like halfway through a really suspenseful part in the game. Two and a half hours already. <sighs> I'm gonna take a real quick break and come back in like two minutes. I'll try to finish this chapter since that would be a pretty good place to stop. All right, I'm back. Got some water. <sighs> yeah, I was taking a break for one and a half hours. Absolutely. Exciting start to the level, eh? Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe I should grab a beer, but this isn't really the type of game for that. I think I need to be really sharp for this. Crossbow! Nice. I really like the crossbow, because it's a pretty powerful weapon that doesn't really have any way of backfiring on you. This guy's really fast at crawling. I mean, look at that. Secret. Okay. Uh, something bad's gonna happen in here, isn't it? much better ways of doing that. No.
Yeah, something tells me there was an alternative way I could have went where I wouldn't have got blown up immediately by a uh, android lady. Anyway, I think there's gonna be more enemies here. Or was that it? I hear someone. I hear a wizard. are starting outside because it's November the 5th which is a big fireworks day in, uh, in the UK we celebrate the well you guys have seen the movie we celebrate uh, the guy that tried to blow up the government very respectable dude alright so I've got the key so I have to uh, yeah, the yellow door was in that red room somewhere. Where was that? Oh, going the wrong way now. There's a door. How do I open that? Anyway, let's let's backtrack a bit over here. Was a trap. Does it mean that other door opened up? No, this is. Oh. Okay. I guess I can open that. the start. Oh, I see. That was a trick. I can go in here. Feeling those uh, invisible monsters are gonna show up. Hear it. Haha! <laughs> well, I saw that one coming. Heretic. Heretic. Let's get the crossbow. Oh, that was it. Okay. Dial. Good place to sit. 
save, right? In the middle of the boss fights. much HP. myself up. Great. That was stupid. Cheap, but I'm gonna save. There we go. Save me some trouble. Easy. YouTube Terms of Service has been tripped? What? Has the stream been flagged? Cool. this level, okay. This one's pretty quick. Technically, I don't actually have to kill this boss. I can just flip all the switches and run away. Ouch. 
but you know, why wouldn't I kill him? Actually, he's got a lot of HP. Let's go in here. Follows me. That explains a lot. The first time I played this level, I just killed this guy inside the caves. I, I didn't I didn't flip all the switches, you know. I, I just killed him immediately. And maybe that's the best way to do it, actually. Because in this main room, you have no cover. So, I think I'm better off just killing him in here. Finish him off. There we go. <laughs> Most impressive. I still gotta go back and flip all the switches now. Chapter 2 of Dusk Completed. That took a lot longer than the first chapter. Mostly because I was dying quite a lot more. Oh, let's see. Someone saying, The Guardian has 17,000 HP, making it one of the higher health bosses in the game. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, the grenades are really dangerous, but they're really easy to dodge. And uh, if you get all the power-ups and the Riveter ammo, then he goes down fairly fast. Huh. Alright. <sighs> the next one is the best? Do you mean the next chapter? I mean, I, I do like the last chapter, but it's also very hard. I don't think I would want to do it like live on, on a stream because uh, I'll probably just die too many times. I might have to play on an easier difficulty. 
Especially the very last level. That's just me dying over and over again. I don't know if people would want to watch that. I don't know if I would want to play that way. Like, even though I like this game a lot, I don't, I don't know if I'll do another stream because I, I feel like I've showed people what I wanted to show them. I've showed them, like, what the game has to offer. So, if you like it, you should probably go buy it because it's not that expensive and it's a lot of fun. I think it took me uh, around 10 hours to beat the first time. And I'm playing on hard mode, so if the game looks too hard, you can play on an easier difficulty and it might be more fun for you. If you click with the mortar, you can detonate your grenades. Oh, I did not know that. That's actually pretty useful. That makes a lot of sense, because I always just shoot it and, and wait for them to explode. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it makes sense that I was just using the weapon wrong all along. But, uh, yeah, that's the game. Maybe next time I'll, uh, I might stream more Age of Empires 2. Or just something completely new. I still haven't played the Doom Eternal DLC. I started playing through the game again before I got to the DLC, but then I just kind of got bored halfway through the game. So I, I don't know if I'll actually end up playing that. Because I really love Doom Eternal, but I've played it so many times now that I don't know if I want to go back just to play the DLC. And I've also heard the DLC is very hard. So it, it might even be too hard for me because I'm playing on a, a Nightmare difficulty. You know, and, and if I have to lower the difficulty just for the DLC, I'm going to feel really annoyed. I've done so much on Nightmare, I don't, I don't want to turn it down. Hmm. Anyway, I guess that's the stream pretty much over. So, uh, that was Dusk. Next time I, I, I don't know what I'll stream, but I'll probably stream something. Hopefully the video quality was okay. I'll, I'll go back through the stream and see how it looked. Because uh, now that I have faster internet, I should, I mean, I should be able to get much better video quality than before. And if I'm not getting that, it probably means my, my settings are still wrong. So I'm going to have to play around with that. But as far as uh, the stream disconnecting, that's probably not going to happen as often as it used to happen. So, uh, yeah, conditions are a lot better, so maybe I can stream more now that my uh, internet's a lot more reliable and I don't have to worry about the stream randomly shutting off. Anyway, uh, I guess go enjoy the rest of your day. I think I'm going to go play Age of Empires if my friends are up for it. If not, I'll, uh, I'll play by myself and I'll try some ridiculous uh, troll strategies in 1v1. I've started playing around with just attacking the enemy with my villagers, just building like walls around their resources and, and dropping a town center next to their base as soon as I can. It's pretty fun. I've played that game for over 400 hours, but I'm still trying new stuff in it, so it's not going to get boring anytime soon. And it's a great game to play with friends as well. Alright, see you guys later.